Hey guys, it's Matt here from AudioTeco.com. Today I want to talk to you about this guy. This is the Virus Ti Snow. It's a great sounding synth made by Axis Music in Germany. Now, I love this thing and when I first started using it, I couldn't believe how great the sounds were. But one thing that really frustrated me was getting it set up. So what I want to help you with today is how to set this thing up in Ableton Live. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the following equipment. Along with the virus is the Oxygen 8 keyboard controller, the Korg Nano controller, and my audio interface is the Audio 6 by Native Instruments. The virus Snow has a total of four outputs. Three outputs run through USB, and the other runs through a physical output on the back of the unit. When using the USB outputs, both audio and MIDI are transferred through the USB cable, but when using the physical output, you'll need to run a pair of TS cables and a separate MIDI cable. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that the virus is not being used as your audio interface. Go to Preferences and then Audio. In this case, I'm using the Complete Audio 6, but you will need to select whichever sound card you're using. OK, so now we have everything connected via USB. Let's load the virus UI. Go to Patch Utility and make sure you have three outs selected. Then go to Common and make sure your main out is set to USB 1 left and right. Load a patch and we have sound. <laughs> As you can see, this first track is going out the main out that we just set before. Now let's move to track 2. We need to send the output to a separate out. Choose USB 2 left and right. Go to your Live Instruments on the left panel. We need to create an external instrument. The MIDI needs to be sent to the virus and on the virus we are now setting up track 2. The audio output is now going out 3 and 4. We used outputs 1 and 2 when we selected left and right in the first track. Let's load a patch and get some sound. Track 3 is the same process. We add an external instrument, we set the MIDI as the virus on track 3. And the output is now set to 5 and 6. The output in the plugin needs to be set to USB 3 left and right. Now, for track 4, we have a bit more work to do. As I mentioned before, only the first three outs transfer via USB. So for track 4, we need to connect the audio and MIDI separately.
connect the output of the virus to an input of your audio interface. and then connect the MIDI out of your keyboard to the MIDI in on the virus. We now need to create an audio track and a MIDI track. The audio input is going to be an external in and it will be where you plug the virus into your audio interface. Once you've done that, select input monitoring. The MIDI input is going to be your keyboard. And the MIDI is going to be sent to the virus on track 4. Select input monitoring for this track as well. Now in the plugin UI, we need to set the correct output. Choose out one left and right. Load a patch and you should have some sound. We now have four independent sounds playing on the virus. We could stop there, but I want to take it one step further and look at automation. Okay, so I'm going to select the cutoff, resonance, attack and release parameters because I tend to use these the most. But of course you can select whichever parameters you like. I'm then going to map these parameters to my Korg Nano controller. I hope you found this useful guys, let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and of course hit that big red subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.